looking at these presenters as well. So I'd like to introduce someone you may know, Mr. Matt Parker. Sometimes. 
times that happens, buy a new house somewhere. So our four special guests are Coach Warren, who
part of the team, what are some of the qualities that go into being a good team? And Ryan is a very humble young man, okay? Um, at East, we talk about a lot of things with our players. And the first thing we talk about is if you're going to do anything, whether it's a sport or an after school activity, whether it's being in the classroom, being a good friend, being a good teammate, the first thing you got to do is make a commitment to that, okay? So a lot of people raise their hands that they play a sport, they participate in school activities, which is great. But that means that you have to go to those practices, and those practices are scheduled, right? Right? You got to make a commitment. Sometimes you're tired, sometimes you might not feel like going, but you have to go there because you made a commitment to play basketball, you made a commitment to, to wrestle, to swim, to play volleyball. Yes. You do that, don't you? You make it every practice? Sometimes. You have a question? You're not scoring on Thursdays, but you don't go. How come? Maybe next year you can Okay? You got a question?
trying to be the best you can be in class, get all your work done. Um, when you do, you can be aggressive in class and get all your work done, you can have no problems. You can stay eligible, you can be able to play sports. Mom and dad will be happy. Um, just, it goes a lot, it goes a long way. And our uh, third one is be a class actor. And being a class actor is being respectful. Being respectful when you go places, you know, how to eat, you know, shopping with your parents or, you know, just be a class that can interact with people, talk to other people like, you know, your classmates and different things like that. So, those are the rules that are Those three rules kind of pertain to what uh, Mr. Parker asked us to talk about. He asked us to talk about character. He asked us to talk about uh, goal setting, he has to talk about um, college expectations and, and playing at the next level. And, and those three rules are rules that I and my staff, we're only two years into Auburn. Uh, we came from another school and when we came over, we brought those rules because we felt those three things apply to everything. If you're on time, you start to develop trust amongst the people around you. If I know Don Charles is always going to be on time for practice, I start to trust him. I start to believe in him. And people will believe in you if you're on time. And at our school, and at our football program, on time means what? Yeah, 15 minutes early. 15 minutes early. So if it starts at 1, you're there at 12.45, because that way it shows you care about your teammates and your friends, because you don't waste their time. You're ready to go right at 1 o'clock. You're not getting dressed at one, you're not walking in at one, you're holding your helmet ready to go. Same thing with the classroom. You show up at classroom right away, you're ready to go. Teacher doesn't have to tell you to sit down. Teacher doesn't have to tell you to get your books out. You're ready to go. People start to trust you when you're on time. Okay? Second thing, and I look at it a little differently otherwise, but I'm so glad you remember the three rules. The second thing is we say be a class act. That means treat people like you want to be treated. Golden rule, you guys have heard about that, right? Yeah. Yes. You want to be treated well, right, in this world? And so we treat others well. And not just our friends. It's easy to treat your friends well. Sometimes it's hard to treat your opponents well. Sometimes it's hard to treat officials, teachers, other adults, and kids who don't like well. But you should do so anyway. Because that's a reflection on you. And when you start to do that, you start to treat people well, other people start to respect you. So you build respect by the way. Be on time, be a class act, and the last one we have is be an aggressive learner. Don't sit back and wait for people to give you things. If you sit back and wait for a teacher to open your head up and put information in so you'll be smart, you will never have. You are given a mind and arms and legs and all those other gifts to walk into the world and use them to acquire information, to gather. Does anybody know one of the most aggressive academic things you can learn with? What's one of the most aggressive skills you can use as a student? Math? Really aggressive, yes. Because you're dealing with numbers, right? What else? Yes, you go. In a purple. Go ahead. One of you girls shout. Yes, sir. Um, science. Science. Good. That's aggressive. <coughs> Reading. Thank you. What's your name? Melanie. Awesome. Reading is one of the biggest problems I see for kids who don't do well in school. Reading is aggressive. The book doesn't just open and the numbers and the pages, the words just jump out as you do that. You have to get down in there and you have to read. But if you read, you'll do well in school. You'll do well on college entrance tests, and you will have great opportunities when you're a senior. I'm going to tell you some things about Don Trell, and I hope he has a mind. I trust that he does it. He knows I, I love him. He's awesome. He didn't do those things in freshman year. Software, especially being an aggressive learner. He didn't do those things. And because of that, 
Some schools aren't going to let him in. Some colleges aren't going to let him in. Some will, some won't. But the last two years, he's become an aggressive learner. He goes in for tutoring. He reads at night. His grades have gone up, and because of that, some schools will. If he had acquired that when he was your age, if he'd been an aggressive learner when he was your age, schools would be paying him to go to college. So it's going to cost him something to go to college. But I'm so proud of him because he learned it. And he learned it in the last two years in such a way that it wasn't always the most popular thing to do at all. Now it kind of is. All right, so if I can share anything with you, please do this. Be an aggressive learner. Be on time. Thank you all for your attention.